What's up you guys? It is my first time being back in America in over a year now. The last time I was in America was November of last year when I went to New York and Portland, my hometown. But right now I am in LA visiting my uncle who lives in the Hollywood Hills. And so about a one mile walk, that's 1.6 kilometers, will get you right here overlooking the lake where they get their water supply here in Hollywood. And then you guys can see over here, we've got the Hollywood sign in the distance so it is absolutely beautiful here but the more time i spend in america the more i realize that sweden is a very very special place and that i absolutely love living in sweden but there is just one thing that i absolutely hate about living in sweden and i'm going to get into that in this video so let's get started One of the things that's crazy to me about being back here in LA is how much beautiful nature they have inside the city. And when you think this is the second biggest city in all of America with over 4 million people, there's still a lot of good hiking trails, a lot of good nature around here, especially if you like this deserty climate. It's been really, really cool and I can see why people that live here stay so active. So since this is like the lake where they get a lot of drinking water in LA, they're not allowed to have dogs here so that like dogs don't poop and contaminate the water for everybody. So after living in Sweden for over a year, I really truly believe that Sweden feels like home to me and I really cannot picture myself living anywhere else. I absolutely love it there. And there are so many things after having lived in Sweden this long that I've come to really appreciate about Swedish society and I definitely do not want to give those things up. I've talked about a lot of those things on the channel and it's just an amazing place to be overall. But the one thing that I cannot stand about living in Sweden is the weather in the winter time. They have very dark and cold winters and Coming to LA has made me realize that I can be walking around in a t-shirt in December and it just feels absolutely amazing to do that. I've noticed that I tend to feel a lot better when the sun is shining and when I get that warm weather, it does have an effect on my mental health. And that is why I've made the choice to come to LA for the winter holidays, just to get away and get that dose of sunshine it makes me feel so much better. So I've had a lot of questions about what the weather is actually like in Sweden. And so I wanted to take a little bit of time in this video to go more in depth about that. And Sweden is a very very large country from north to south uh, so there are a lot of different climates even within Sweden if you're in the south of Sweden the climate stays a bit more mild they're gonna have less snow longer days in the winter time it's almost like uh, northern Germany or Denmark it's very very similar climate to that uh, and then the further north you go in Sweden obviously the days will get shorter so where I'm living in that North Shoping Stockholm area uh, in the peak of summer it's great because the Sun will stay up till midnight uh, and it'll come up at like 3 in the morning and then in the winter time you kind of have the opposite on the shortest day of the year which is December 21st you usually get that Sun going down around 2 30 in the afternoon and then it comes up about 10 a.m. in the morning. So the days can be very, very short in the winter time. And luckily we're at that point now where the days are starting to get longer again. And then if you go further to the north of Sweden, they'll actually have days of complete darkness once you get high enough north. And then they'll have days of complete bright in the summertime, which is very, very cool. I've never actually made it to the north myself, but I do want to make some trips very very soon in the future one of the things that's interesting about the climate here in la is that it is a mediterranean climate and it's very very close to an ocean so they don't get extremes on either end they don't get extremely hot in the summertime usually they'll get like 30 35 degrees celsius in the summertime and then in the wintertime like right now in january and De december and january the average high will be 20 degrees celsius so they don't have a huge difference because it's almost a very deserty climate but at the same time they have a huge ocean which can help regulate the temperature because they have ocean breezes coming in so this is actually a very amazing place to live if you like good weather now in sweden they have very extremes but one of the interesting things about sweden's climate is because they're so far north you'd think that they would have extreme 
extreme cold, but they actually have somewhat of a mild climate considering how north they really are because of the Gulf Stream that is coming uh, across the ocean. It kind of can help regulate the temperature a little bit in Sweden because if you were at the same latitude in America as you were in Sweden, you'd be like basically Alaska, which gets much, much colder than the temperatures that they do have in Sweden. So in reality, Sweden actually has a somewhat mild climate for how far north it is. But for me, I still like to think of it as being very, very cold when you compare it to places like here in LA. So with that being said, guys, the cold weather is the only thing that I hate about Sweden. <laughs> Pretty much everything else I've loved from the beginning or either learned to like throughout my last year there in Sweden. So that is the one thing though that I think I will never get over, that I will never love. But that's why I think it's so important for me to get at least one winter vacation every year in a sunny climate. If you guys are from Sweden, I'm curious to see if you agree with me. So leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel because this time in America has really made me realize a lot of things about American culture and Swedish culture. And I'm gonna be talking about those in future videos. So subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'm gonna get back to hiking because there's a lot of hills here. See you in the next one.